In today's video, we're talking all about the hottest accessories for the spring season. Accessories are just one surefire way to amp up your outfit and add a little razzle dazzle to any look. So let's get into it. Hey there everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. For those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you were not new, then welcome back, girl. So like I said, today we're talking all about accessories. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some accessories as well as some clothing pieces. I do have a few clothing pieces as well, but most of these pieces that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys are accessories. So, and these are some of the hottest accessory trends that are out right now for the spring and summertime. You know, accessories, I love, I love accessories, especially in the spring and summertime because we don't, we're not doing a whole bunch of layering. So one way to, you know, really just make the most of your wardrobe or just to add a little something extra to your wardrobe if you you know have the basic you know essentials for in your wardrobe and you don't really do a lot of trends as far as your clothing that you can also you know try out some trends and incorporate trends into your outfit and your look just by adding some accessories and even if you have like the same basic outfit you know accessories can really just add that little extra touch to your look I'm gonna share with you guys a few accessories and yeah let's get into it yeah, I'll just start with jewelry first because that's probably I have the most pieces as far as in jewelry so we'll start with jewelry and jewelry is another good you know good way to you know amp up your wardrobe and just to add a little extra and detail to your look and right now one of the hottest you know jewelry trends are statement pieces and statement jewelry and I really love this particular trend because I'm pretty much so more of a minimalist kind of jewelry person I, I like you know to layer necklaces which that's also a trend um, it's not as popping and as trendy as the you know statement jewelry jewelry or statement necklaces but I still like to you know layer my necklaces too but like huge and just gaudy just you know um, out there jewelry is in right now and so I picked up a few pieces from Zara that um, I wanted to share with you guys that I thought were cute and just some ways to like I said add a little something extra to my wardrobe so this first piece I got from Zara I've already opened this up it's out of the packaging is this it looks like an architectural piece I think that's why I like jewelry like this is because it looks like you're wearing art on your body so it's a cuff right so as you can see it kind of has like a little spring here to kind of open up and you so you just open it up and just put it on your wrist and I have small wrists so it's not gonna fall off my wrist and you can also kind of wear it up high wear it higher up if you want to I like that particular look as well if you don't want it to like you know slide up and down your arm especially like I said if you have skinny arms and skinny wrists like I do so you can also kind of like push it back like that so you see how architectural and just unique and fun that is it'd be even better if I had on a short sleeve shirt but in the summertime we tend to wear more short sleeves so because we have so much skin showing I feel like adding an accessory like a cuff bracelet which are huge and trendy right now and especially like these these bracelets like this are just so just so much detail going on with this and it's not heavy or anything it is a little bit heavier than most of the you know bracelets that I do have but it's nothing too uncomfortable and like I said I have small wrists so it does kind of slide around my wrist like that but but still it's not gonna fall off my wrist I definitely plan to wear it more so closer like up on my closer to my elbow I guess but I actually love this bracelet and I love like this kind of like it looks kind of vintage right um and it kind of looks like I don't even know what it looks like but it, look, it looks very like gladiator-esque or something like that so um but I absolutely love it love it so much that I also got it in a gold color so it comes in the gold and it also comes in the silver so I got it in the silver I haven't or got it in the gold as well I haven't opened this one up yet but it's, it's kind of like um like let's say like an antique or kind of vintage kind of vibes and this was the prices on it these bracelets are $35.90 on Zara which is pretty expensive for some bracelets but they're pretty substantial right like and it looks you know it looks high end it looks designer it looks like something that Scaparelli probably would do because they're very known they're known for their extravagant just out there jewelry so it definitely reminds me of Scaparelli so but I just absolutely love these bracelets and um, I don't think I've had any issue as far as like seeing it going in and out of stock it pretty much stays in stock so definitely pick those up and then the next set of bracelets I have are these and we know like bangles those are, that's also a huge trend right now and if you love bangles this is the perfect time for you to get all, all your bangles whether it be chunky bangles or skinny bangles they are huge right now and I got these like wooden and gold kind of bangles here and they are stretchy I haven't taken them out of the packaging as you can see but they are pretty stretchy so um, if you have bigger wrists you know you can easily get these on and off um, but I actually love these. These definitely give me summer vibes, something that I can accessorize 
um, in the summertime with a cute, you know, white dress or something and then just have like brown accessories, maybe like some brown earrings or something um, and like some brown sandals or something. So I love these Pringles. These um, actually kept going in and out of stock. So I managed to get my hands on them and they're $29.90, which is pretty pricey for some bangles, but you get three. So I don't know, um, $10 a piece <laughs> pretty much for each bangle. Um, but I love them. Like I said, very much so summer vibes. You can wear these, something like this on a resort, like if you're going on vacation or something, and you just, like I said, want those statement pieces to take with you to, you know, add to your wardrobe or add to your outfit. These are perfect for that. So especially if you're going like somewhere tropical. So love these bracelets. All right, like I said, we're staying with the jewelry pieces because I have more jewelry pieces than I do anything. So the next jewelry piece is from Koss. Um, I don't typically buy um accessories from cost other than like handbags i've gotten handbags from there but as far as jewelry i don't think i've ever gotten any jewelry from there so this is my first time kind of trying out and see how i like their jewelry pieces um but yeah so this is the next piece and it is a necklace and as you can see it's a very much so statement necklace and that's another like i said huge trend or statement necklaces and this one is just basically a like a plate i think that's what they advertise it as on the website is um plated i think it's called a plated uh pendant i think is what it is and it just has like this little string like i said attached to it and the little pendant and it looks like it's kind of like raised here in the middle kind of looks like a nipple a little bit girl um but i just thought this was so cute i saw it on the uh, model i actually saw this on i saw someone else wearing this and i saw it on initially saw it on cost and i seen watched the video i can't even remember what the video was at this point but someone had styled in their video and i thought it was so cute and i was like you know what i saw that at cost i need to go get it because i loved it but it's just a huge just a huge statement piece like um, like I said, this is something cute to wear um, if you want to, you know, add a little something extra to your outfit. And I'm loving accessorizing with silver, silver metallic. So, um, but I love it. It's kind of not, it's not too heavy. Like I can't really tell you how it would feel on my neck because I haven't taken it off the packaging because I just recently got it. Um, but it is, it's a little bit, a little heavy. It's not too much where it's uncomfortable. It is a little heavy. And I think the last time I checked, it was out of stock, but I will still link it just in case it comes back in stock because this this was also, this was pretty pricey for what it is. So I don't know if I'm still debating whether I want to keep it. Um, I do love it, but um, we'll see. Um, give myself a few weeks to see if I really reach for it. If I don't, then I'm probably going to send it back because it was pretty pricey for what it is, just to be honest with you. But it is a nice statement piece and it says recycled brass leather. So um yeah so that is the only piece that i got from cos all right now we're gonna get off to um some one-off pieces um the next piece i got is from nakd fashion and i actually got this a few months ago but i just forgot to even show it to you guys so since i figured since we're talking about accessories and trends i figured i would share with you guys this piece and it is basically just like a little choker and we know these chokers like these chokers that you tie around your neck they are huge and trendy right now and especially florals are also trendy right now huge floral appliques just all over your body so i saw this on nakd and just had to get it i purchased a brooch from there which is also another huge trend and i don't even know what i did with that brooch so anyway i went back on there and decided to get the little choker so it looks like this um doesn't look uh not really styling up properly but y'all could you know follow me and subscribe so that you guys can see me style this up because i do style up a lot of my pieces in you know outfit videos and you know outfit inspiration videos and things like that so if you want to see me style these pieces up be sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss um any of my videos and see how i style up these pieces in case you get them and you want to see how to style them up but i'm definitely going to be styling this up all spring and summer long girl because i just love red red is one of my favorite colors you can tell by my lipstick uh, but i just love red and just this will be cute just wrapped around my neck and i like to have like some of the string kind of hanging down i think that'll be cute even with what i have on now this leopard print black and white leopard print um top and then maybe like a little dress or something i think this will be cute so just accessories like this is another way to add uh, like i said i'm sound like a broken rec record at this point but they're just perfect ways to you know style up your outfits and just add a little something extra to your look and i just absolutely love this so um yeah i don't know if it's still available like i said i got it a couple of months ago but everything that i share with you guys as always i will link it down in the description box all right so i was talking about accessories i categorize shoes also in accessories because they are aren't the main focus or the main piece of your outfit 
um, as far as like clothing wise, but I would say accessory, they, they're an accessory too, I, would, I feel like, are in the kind of category as accessories. So um, I did buy, you know, purchase a pair of shoes and these particular shoes um, I've been seeing styled up or starting to see more. So I feel like this particular shoe brand or shoe type is going to be another trend that kind of starts to pop up more and more. So I'm trying to like get on the trend now because I do love these shoes. And you know, by the way, trends when it, as far as as far as me wearing trends, I love to wear trends because they're just a way to really, uh, you know, update your wardrobe and just kind of make you current. Um, I don't participate in all the trends, but I do participate in trends that make sense to what I, you know, to my wardrobe. Or I'm, you know, participate in trends that I feel like I can wear, you know, five, ten years from now. So it's not that I'm wearing them because they're trendy. I wear them because it makes sense as far as you know my wardrobe. And like I said, I just like to you know remain current and um so yeah it's just fun to play with fashion i love to you know have fun with fashion it's all about having fun so um but i feel like this particular shoe is going to be trending pretty soon like it's not hasn't caught any momentum just yet but i feel like as the as the year goes on i feel like this particular shoe type of shoe is going to catch up or start to have a little bit more momentum in it um but it is part of that whole like small shoe like sleek shoe or I don't even know what you really call it, um, but like the small shoes, not like the chunky shoes, but like the small shoes. And when I say small shoes, I mean like sleek shoes, I guess. Like, um, you know, like your Adidas Sambas and your Adidas Gazelles and your um, A6, the A6 ones are also a huge trend. So this kind of falls in that whole category of that particular type of shoe. And so these are the shoes that I purchased and I got them from Nike. And um, these are the Nike Cortez vintage so and i love vintage shoes also um i'm a huge fan of vintage shoes i have a lot of vintage shoes as far as shoes that were made you know in the 70s um i have a lot of those so yeah and i also have um a pair of these already in like a white and red and blue so let me just show you guys shoes um and i love this colorway because one of my favorite colors is green so here are the shoes or one of the shoes so these are the nike cortez and this is in the green color and it's actually green and a little stripe here at the bottom of it on the sole is blue so um i love green and i know i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this particular shoe one because of the color and two because of the style because it's like a sleek shoe like a very minimalistic kind of smaller type of shoe it's not thick you know and chunky it's just very sleek and just kind of minimalistic not really minimalistic because it's color girl but you get what i'm saying kind of falls into that realm of you know the adidas sambas and so i just love this shoe um i saw another someone else i can't i, I watch so many videos i can't keep up with who i'm watching and what i see when i do watch them but um there was another uh, youtuber that i think had purchased these and i thought they were so cute and so i found them on um i think i got these from Foot Locker, i think um, I can't remember where I got them from now, but um, I will, again, like I said, link everything down below. But they're pretty reasonable, and like I said, I feel like these particular shoes um, are going to be trending pretty soon. Like, you're going to be seeing a lot of these shoes. Um, I feel like these are going to replace the Adidas Sambas. I could be wrong, girl, but I'm just going to go ahead and put it out there and say these are going to be replacing the Adidas Sambas, which probably aren't going to be going anywhere anytime soon. But um i do love them they're just like a sleek shoe so you can style them up in so many different ways this is, this is a cute summer shoe and very retro um i love retro shoes like i said so um and i got mine in a nine and a half yeah and i am a true nine and a half so definitely get i would say definitely get your true size in these and i think it was a women's shoe yeah it's a women's shoe so um i would say definitely get your true size in these shoes. Don't size up or down unless you want them to fit a certain way, but definitely get your true size if you're interested in the Nike Cortez. So, so that's just a one-off thing. And then the next two items um, I got from ASOS. So the first item is some sunglasses. I love sunglasses. And I particularly like sunglasses that have like this brown tinted lens to them, which is another huge trend as far as sunglasses are concerned. Um, and it's sunglasses with some sort of tint. That's a huge trend for the spring and summer season because we're incorporating color and just having fun, right, in the spring and summer. So I saw these on the site and I've been looking for some um, sunglasses that have like a brown tint forever. I have some with red, I have some with yellow, I have some with um, orange, but I didn't have any with 
brown so i love these and the frame is also brown so yeah i love these i thought they look cute and retro and just another you know way to style up my outfit um or outfits and yeah i just absolutely love these sunglasses um they look very much so designer so on the, on the camera they look like they have orange lenses but hopefully um they are actually you guys can see that they're brown because they are advertised as sunglasses with a brown lens so and the frame is also brown so but yeah i love those they look very designer and yeah it's got those off asos and then another thing i got off asos is actually something that i've been wearing um i started wearing this as soon as i got it and it is just a little tote bag um and it's made out of this suede material and this is genuine suede genuine leather and that's another huge trend right now as far as accessories are suede handbags especially like you know these tote bags these big you know slouchy uh suede bags and we can thank the row for that i think they have a bag right now that i've been seeing a lot of people style up um a lot of like the higher end like luxury um influencers styling up and it's like in this brown color which i love um i wish i could find a dupe of that particular bag because i think it just looks again it looks retro to me i don't know it just looks retro so yeah i got this one on asos and it's in this green color of course like i said i love green it's one of my favorite colors like all shades of green i'm trying to see if the glass if the shoes no it's different this is more i don't know what color green this is i don't know you guys let me know like a kelly green maybe this is more of a sagey green this handbag but i thought those were gonna match but they don't but i don't care like i'll still wear them together because you can do like a mono monotone kind of an outfit with this but yeah so love this little tote bag and loved it even better once i realized that it was real genuine leather genuine suede so because you could even smell it too so um, and it just has silver hardware on it and I basically have everything in here but the kitchen sink. I'm not really that much of a tote bag type of a woman, <laughs> type of a person, because it's just too casual for me. And that's weird considering that most of my outfits are casual, but this is a little too casual, but I love it. I love it. So, um, and it fits on my shoulder just fine. So a perfect little bag to run errands in, which I, which is what I've been doing when I've been wearing it. So, and it was pretty reasonable price considering it is genuine real suede so but yeah so love these bags and these are going to be huge and trending for the spring and summer season all right and the next particular um trend i want to talk about are hats caps baseball hats are huge and trendy right now and i saw this one i think i said in one of my last videos i saw this on another influencer um politics and fashion she was wearing this in one of her videos and i went immediately to ghani because this is where this is from i think it's called ghani or ghani this is the first time i've purchased from this particular brand i think it's based out of it's a european brand because i really love european style and i love to shop from european brands so this i think is a scandinavian brand um but anyway it's a little baseball cap has Ghani on it and it's in this leopard print which leopard print is another huge trend so you have leopard print and you know the caps um, so that's two trends in one with this particular piece so but I really loved it it has like a velcro back so that kind of just helps if you have a bigger head like me because I have a big head so I like it because I can just easily undo it and adjust it to my you know to my what I need it to go to so um and like I said it has Ghani on it so love this and it's very good quality and like again if you want to add a little bit of um detail or you want to add some you know leopard print and you don't want to go like all out as far as clothing you know you can incorporate leopard print into a you know accessory i did a whole video about how to style you know leopard print and talked about that in that video so i'll link it up here if you guys want to see that video but i'm um, in that video i said you can just try accessories or use accessories to um participate in this particular leopard print trend so but absolutely love this cap and since we're talking about gunning i also got a few um shirts from there and another huge trend right now is um like graphic tees which graphic tees i feel like are classic like i don't feel like graphic tees go out of style but you know we're going in the spring and summer so they are huge and trending for the spring and summertime so they're just another way to you know add a little bit of fun to your look so i got these particular shirts from ghani or these um these t-shirts from ghani and this one it just says Ghani on it and it has um, have a nice day please recycle it has a little peach on it I wanted this one because I live in Georgia and you know we are Georgia peaches so I thought that would be cute um, and this I don't know what I wear this with I have 
I'll probably wear it with my yellow sneakers from A6 and maybe some jeans or I think a slip skirt would look cute with this, which is what I initially intended to wear this these shirts with are like slip skirts so I have an abundance of them that I can style up and this is kind of oversized on me so I can just wear it you know with a slip skirt and maybe like some um, slides or something or some sneakers and just be a cool look so yeah so that is the first t-shirt that I got from Ghani and then the next t-shirt I got is this one this one has a strawberry on it they have lots of graphic tees like this on the site and I just particularly went with the strawberry and the peach just because i love both of those but they also had ones with cherry i think i'm gonna go back and get those or get that particular one because the cherry is like in this of course cherry color or burgundy color which i love i'm loving burgundy i also did a video about how to style burgundy if you want to watch it um but yeah so this one just has strawberry on it again it just says have a nice day please recycle and then it just has like the little strawberry on it with the gaudy on it so absolutely love this particular shirt and like i said plan on styling this up with like some jeans and maybe some shorts like some denim shorts in the summertime um i do have a leopard print skirt that i just got from nordstrom that i thought would look cute with this so this with that leopard print skirt and the skirt is very much so maxi length actually it drags the floor so i can wear that and then i have some red um little ballet flats and like a red bag like yeah it'll be a look so stay tuned to see um me style up that particular look but yeah so love these t-shirts like i said t-shirts um or especially more specifically graphic tees are just a you know a nice little way to add a little extra detail to your look as well um they're not these aren't accessories so but you can you know style up your accessories with graphic tees to add a, you know like a little extra detail to your look and just incorporate some fun and some freshness to your look so um, but those are the things that I got from Ghani. And then um, another one-off piece, I actually forgot to mention this as far as when I was doing my one-off stuff. Um, I also got, like I said, caps are huge. So I also got me another polo cap as if I need any more. I think I have three of these of these polo hats at this point and of course i had to get a burgundy because burgundy is another huge trend and again like i said in my how to style burgundy if you don't want to do burgundy as far as in your clothing try it with accessories so this is a burgundy little cap from ralph lauren and i just feel like even when burgundy isn't huge and trendy which i still am planning on wearing burgundy even when it's not a thing um this is a perfect hat to style up with any of my casual pieces and it has like the little blue like navy blue on here which is perfect because i can wear this with jeans um, any kind of denim and it just will look fine so um, but yeah I got this off of Poshmark actually because I was actually going on Google to find me um, to actually find a burgundy hat and so this one popped up from Poshmark so I purchased it so and it's brand new actually brand new with tags so um, I don't know whoever purchased this must have purchased a bunch of them and decided to sell them to resell them um i think i paid this says 20 in my M, msrp the msrp is 29.99 but i think i paid more than that so um but it's fine because it's something that i'll just have in my wardrobe and be able to use because i wear hats as you guys know that's been following me i wear hats all the time so this hat right here is going to you know have lots of um wear in my wardrobe so but yeah so that is the one off thing that i got from poshmark all right, so just because I'm sharing you guys new things in my wardrobe, I like I said, all these things are accessories, but I did have some clothing pieces. So we went to the mall one day and um, went to Dillard's and I needed some more linen pieces. Linen is another, or linen pieces or linen in general is not really a trend, but it is something that comes around you know, year after year because that's basically what we wear in the you know spring and summertime because it's more breathable, it's lightweight, and you know you don't typically burn up in linen and it's just a fabric that we typically wear in the spring and summertime. So, um, so the first one I got, and these are men's shirts because I love to wear men's shirts and their button-up shirts, which are huge, another huge trend. And so I got a just a white um, button-up shirt in this linen fabric, and this is from the brand. Creme, Cremo, I don't know. I'm not familiar with this brand, but um, the the uh, linen looked very luxurious. And I got mine in extra large to take into account when I wash it, because it will shrink, because it's linen, linen shrinks until you try to iron it out. But I just got an extra large to, like I said, take into account 
the shrinkage and also um because i just wanted to oversize so i can like tie it if i want to i can unbutton it and wear it like it's a cover-up if i have a bathing suit on like there's so many different things that i could do with a linen shirt in the spring and summertime so that's why i kind of sized up in these so um but yeah so the first one i got is just plain just a plain white one because you just can't go wrong with plain white ones and you know look cute with this hat with my Ghani hat and also will look cute with my um, Ralph Lauren hat. Um, any of the accessories, like I said, this is a blank canvas right here. And then you add any of my accessories that I showed you guys today and you have a look. So with a, just a basic top, right? So that's how you can just style up basic things just with accessories. So, um, but yeah, so that is the first button up top I got. And then the next one I got, I've been trying to find or looking for a button up top um, similar to this in this stripe pattern. Um, I have several striped shirts, but this particular style, you know, type of style of stripe is what I've been looking for and what I love. So, um, yeah, so this is the next one I got. It's the same brand, just a different color, different pattern. Um, and I'll just, like I said, I love the color tone of this particular blue and white striped shirt or button up shirt. So again, I can wear this in so many ways. Um, I can tie it up. I can wear it opened, um, layered on like, like I said, a bathing suit where it's a cover up style it up with some shorts, style it up with a slip skirt, style it up with my burgundy hat. Like there's so many ways that I can also style up this too. So I just thought I would share it with you. These were, I don't think they were on sale, but they were $79.50. So um, I think they're that's pretty good for like a quality, like real linen shirt. Cause these are real linen. And I'm trying to see, it's a French linen, which I don't know if that's the best quality linen, but um, it definitely is, you know, real, you know, real linen fabrics, not that linen, you know how some stuff have like linen blend. And I think I have a lot of pieces that are like linen blend, but this is like true linen. So, um, but yeah, so I had to pick that up and just wanted to share with you guys those pieces just because we're talking about new in. So I just thought I would share that too. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, everything that I shared with you guys today, I will link in the description box in case you are interested in any of the pieces and want to add them to your wardrobe. Like I said, accessories are just a fun way to just add a little extra detail to your look to just do something different with your look. Like I said, if you have been wearing the same old outfit and you just want to add a little bit of razzle dazzle to make it a little bit different, then accessories are definitely one way to do that, especially like with hats or with shoes, like it just changes up the entire look of the, of the outfit if you just add some accessories here and there especially like some statement you know jewelry some statement necklace some statement earrings some statement you know pieces for his cuffs like that's just one way to just transform that outfit so um but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like and subscribe so that you guys will be able to see how i style up these pieces because i do tons of fashion and styling videos over here and so be sure to stay tuned so that you guys can see how i style these pieces up so but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you guys in the next one all right bye guys